to any daddies out there. Me. Are good to their children. Are good to their children. Were good to their children. And anybody who had fathers who weren't abusive towards them, pieces of shit. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Any good father, happy father's day, anybody who had good fathers, unlike yours truly who was cursed at So many ways, including being gifts I was never able to use that amounted to nothing, so what a point, but better off without them. Better off without them. Joe never wanted to be a father, so I don't have to worry about him, like, or Father's Day or anything like that. He never wanted to be a daddy. Another reason why I thought he was the one. Couldn't have been further from the one. He, he rejected me or left me. God. Calling the realtor this week. I have to call a neurologist too. I have to get her a neurology appointment. Call a neurologist. It can take some time. I don't even know or care. My dad is alive or dead. Don't give a fuck. I believe my longtime dental hygienist who I've been seeing for like eight years. I think I was telling her, was it her? I think she I tell her other stuff about my mom. She's like, is your dad still alive? I think I was telling her, like, like, I don't know if he's alive or dead. I I forgave him for treating me really badly as a kid. As a kid. But then he was a jerk as an adult. Nope. Bye bye. Good riddance. He didn't change his spots. Leopard doesn't change his spots. He didn't change his spots. And he accused me of being narcissistic when he happened to contact me after years and years of not being in my life. He found me. He only found me so he could gush about finding his long lost son, my supposed brother. And then I'm narcissistic because I had just been shoved backwards down a hill and left for dead or dying by my supposed soulmate. And I'm, I'm, I can't be all happy about my newfound brother or, or just happy in general or ask daddy questions. Shows he doesn't care about me. He only cares about his sons. He only cares about his adopted son of a, of a, his wife had sex with a, uh, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. He, fit, he only cares about his adopted son that um, from all appearances couldn't possibly have been his son but you, I guess you didn't know that at birth he had to wait a while and and his newfound son who I fucked things up with because daddy's not going to care that I was I nearly died or worse or worse or worse at the hands of my long time live in boyfriend he didn't care daddy didn't care and accused me of being just focused on myself And then later, I, he, he found me. He was never going to find me again, but I wrote to him when I was in the shelter, and I just, I didn't want anything from him. I thought he might want to know, and instead he used it as an opportunity to tell me how I'd fucked things up with his son because I had told his son how Daddy had treated me, including the pseudo-sexual stuff, even though he never laid a hand on me. And my newfound brother, lo and behold, believed me and now wants nothing to do with my father. And... You know, as one of my shelter friends said, it wasn't in there for drugs or alcohol. Like most women in there were. You reap what you sow. 
want and need or something. I don't know what she said. The fact is, I did not intentionally fuck things up. I never. I'm just, you, you introduced me to my long lost brother who's only a little bit older or younger than, than me. Papa was a rolling stone. Daddy cheated on everyone and cheated on my mom, cheated on. Um, she wants her phone. I thought you wanted to listen to Caleb in your bedroom. Caleb's a faraway station. We can't get it in out in the living room. I tried four different plugs, but. Miracle, a miracle, you got it in, in your bedroom. All right, I'm going to come and bring you your phone. I thought you wanted to listen to Caleb in your bedroom. I'm coming. Your slave is coming. Hold on.